I'm the producer of Resident Evil 5, Jun Takeuchi. The very first game that I loved was Wizardry, back on the NES. What I actually wanted to do was to design toys. As it turned out, the nearest place to where I was going to school at the time was a games company, and that's how I got involved in uh, making games. The first person who gave me that chance was uh, Tatsuya Minami, and he taught me a lot about you know, how to get work done properly. Then after that, I was lucky enough to work under Shinji Mikami, who taught me so much about uh, games development. And then after that, I was lucky enough again to work under Keiji Inafune, and he taught me everything I need to know about business. I've been you know, very lucky in my career up until now to have such a large number of really great bosses who were able to teach me a lot of things. I went to a design school to learn the uh, basic tenets of design. There I was uh, able to learn about lots of different types of design, you know, commercial design and whatever. And actually I think that's uh, had you know, a big influence in the way that I look at games. Especially working on Resident Evil 5, we've been able to overcome a lot of problems that we had early on in the development and get past those issues and just every day make a, a better and better game and I can see it right in front of me getting more and more fun every day. I guess that's the, the biggest motivator for me. I don't think that uh, success is defined by sales numbers or you know getting awards from different parts of the industry uh, at the end of the day it's uh, having created something that users enjoy and users think is fun that's the most important thing if we hear from our users or our fans that you know they didn't like such and such a game or they thought such and such a game wasn't fun and when we do get uh, those opinions, you know, from our uh, from our users, I'm not satisfied unless I, you know, start to work immediately on how we could have made it better, or how we could improve for future games those areas that fans weren't satisfied with. To have one platform on which uh, everybody could uh, develop their games easily, that's one thing I would like to see. It's not enough just to know everything about games. Look at games, but also look at novels and look at films and music, many different kinds of media and learn uh, lots of different things so that you have you know, a much richer and, and broader pool of knowledge on which to draw on, make lots of friends, talk to your friends about interesting things. All of that will become in very useful when you're developing games, whereas if you only know games, I don't think that's going to be enough. My favorite story is the movie My Life as a Dog. That's a really uh, rich and rewarding story. I'm a big car nut, so I really want to get some old cars, restore them myself, and then build my own collection. I've got about 30 different types of cars that I really would like to have in that collection. I guess I'd like to go back to design and have a go at doing different kinds of product design. I think that would be interesting. I wouldn't want to work for a TV station or uh, in the media, actually. <laughs> it looks like a really tough job. I, I don't think I'd be cut out for something like that. The novelist uh, Thomas Harris, I really like his uh, suspense. It's a really big inspiration for me. Another person would be Lotra. From when I was in elementary school right up until I actually joined uh, Capcom, Everybody uh, had a nickname for me, and um, I don't really know why everybody chose to call me this, but everybody called me Alien. One that people use a lot in Kansai region, which is where Osaka is, Aho, which basically means an idiot or a fool, but you can use it in a lot of different contexts. I try hard to listen to a lot of different types of music, a lot of Japanese music and also to a lot of Western music. I guess probably the one that I listen to most is sort of Japanese indie music. One group that I really like and that is a group called Sakunakusho. I'm so busy right now that I haven't had time to play them, but uh, I guess the one uh, that I'm making time for right now is the, uh, the Nazi zombie mode in um, Call of Duty World of War. I'm